Hey guys, I'm back. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, we were getting ready to go double top plate the tree house here and I thought this would be a good opportunity to review some of the stuff we went over in class. Uh, one of the things that I keep talking about is how to lay out a 16 inch center and how to lay out a 24 inch center. Uh, I'm going to review today how to lay out a 16 inch on center spacing. What we're going to do, we're going to do it in several different steps here. This first video, we're going to explain how to crown the boards and lay out the 16 inch on center on the top of the crown of the board. So step one, as you recall, when I typically am building a wall, this would be sitting these, if this was a wall plate, this would be our bottom plate and our top plate of our wall. And it would be sitting down on top of our subfloor when we were getting ready to build the walls. So the first step I do is I look and crown the lumber. What we're, when I refer to crowning the lumber is I look down the lumber and I look to see if it has an arch in it, like a bow and arrow. All right, if you remember, we have a crown, a bow, and a twist is the, two, is the three main types that we have. So I'm worried about the crown, or not worried, but concerned about the crowns in this particular case. I wanna put the crown up. Same here, I wanna put the crown up on my board. When I'm using wall plates, they're typically um, eight foot, 10 foot, uh, 12 foot, 16 feet long. They're, so that we can continue our wall if we need to. The other thing we want to do is make sure that we have our crowns up on this, all right? So this is an eight foot two by four. Now that we have them crowned, our plan is to separate them with wall studs, all right? If you recall, this is a two by four. This would be our bottom plate and our top plate. Our wall studs, if this is just a short piece of a wall stud, an eight foot wall stud with a double top plate would typically be 92 and five eighths inches long with a single top plate would be 94 and a quarter inches long. This one's cut shorter just so I can demonstrate for you guys. And I've also done something, I've marked the middle or the center of our two by four. As you recall, our two by four is one and a half inches thick across here. So I measured in three quarters of an inch to the center. All right, just for a reference so I can demonstrate how this works. I'm gonna set that aside for now. We're gonna put our plates together. We're going to make sure that our wall plates are flush okay when i say flush i mean that they're both in the same spot on the end here after i have them flush sometimes i tack them together but for this video we're not we don't need to do that i'm gonna i'm gonna first of all i'm gonna put an x on the end here right on the end of my board just like so that x is going to demonstrate that that's where a wall stud is going to go and i'll show you in a minute the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to measure down here all right, I want the middle of my board, all right, I want the middle of my one and a half inch thick board to land on 16 inches. So I'm gonna mark back one, two, three quarters of an inch and mark 15 and a quarter, and I'm gonna mark an X like so. After I take the X, I'm gonna take my square, oh, you can use a speed square, I'm gonna mark a line there, I'm gonna put an X on this side. You could also use a framing square, all right? The tongue side, this is the tongue of our, our framing square. This is the blade of our framing square. The tongue side is exactly one and a half inches thick. So we can mark both sides of our two by four like so. And if you look, the middle of our two by four here is gonna be exactly 16 inches to the middle of the board is what we're what we're after so we mark 15 and a quarter is what we do as construction workers so that we can quickly assemble this wall and I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a little bit so 15 and a quarter is the first mark we make the next mark we make if we look on my tape measure if you look how this number 16 is highlighted in red Every construction tape measure has some type of marking to denote 16 inches, 32 inches is red, 6, 48 inches is red, 64 inches is red, 80 inches is red, 96. Every 16 inch center is marked for you on your tape measure ahead of time. Construction guys do this so often, the tape measure companies have gone ahead and marked those differently for you. So now what I'm gonna do is I've gone to my 16. The next one I'm gonna do is 32. Again, I'm gonna fall back one, two, 
three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna put my mark like so. Now I'm gonna continue out to 47 and a quarter. I'm gonna to go to the 48, fold back one, two, three quarters, put my mark. I'll go to my next red mark, 64, fall back three quarters, put my mark. Go to my next red mark, fall back three quarters, and put my mark. Now this is just an eight foot wall, so we'll end our wall right here. Now we can take our framing square, and we wanna make sure the blade is tight against our two by four. We'll go over here to our mark or our crow's foot, and we'll mark across both two by fours on both sides. All right, recalling that this is one and a half inches thick, and so is our two by four. If you look here, our two by four and the, and the uh, tongue of our square are exactly the same thickness, and that's by design, okay? The next one we're gonna go to, we'll mark both sides as well. The other square that's handy for this is called a tri-square, works very well for this, because that too has a one and a half inch thick um, surface area to mark with. So now the beauty of this is if you've done this properly, and let's say we started a, um, we were gonna start putting our plywood on this. We separated our wall. All right, this would be our bottom plate. This would be our top plate. This would be our stud, and we would separate this and install our stud flush like this. Our two by fours aren't long enough here, but we would install that like so with 16 penny nails, all right, through our plate into our stud, which we'll demonstrate that in another video. Um, this one would start here flush on the end, okay? Now, if we started a full sheet of plywood here flush at the end, it would land exactly in the middle, all right, right here. And then we could start another full sheet. And that one would land exactly right here in the middle. So the beauty of that is that we can um, continue running full sheets of board, whether it's plywood or drywall, and um, not have to cut every single sheet. So it's very important that you lay this out uh, accordingly. Every construction guy pretty much does it the same way. Some guys will mark the face. This is a two by four, so I have a tendency to mark the top, so the crowns of the lumber is how I was taught. Some, everybody has a technique, every crew has a technique. The main thing is, is that you uh, understand what's going on and you follow the rules of your crew. So uh, this would be 16 inch centers. We'll do another video with 24 inch centers, all right? Um, so I hope everyone's having a great day. And I hope you learned how to lay out 16 inches on center. Uh, thank you. Have a great day.